So in this tutorial, we're going to have a look at angles in parallel lines. And you know the sort of thing we're talking about, where you have, look at the question, two lines which are parallel, indicated in this case by the little arrows, and another straight line going across them. And I've got another diagram like that here. And there are three sorts of angles you need to be aware of, and you need to know their names. So when you have angles like these two axes here, Okay, which used to be called F angles, and there is a, a backwards F for you. Okay, but we do call them uh, corresponding angles now. Okay, so corresponding angles are equal. You need to be able to quote that. And then we have the other uh, pair of X's here, like that, which we used to call Z angles, but are now always called alternate angles. And they are equal as well. And then we have... Uh, what we call co-interior angles, and that's this X and this Y. And again, there used to be a letter name for it. There's a C, uh, but we don't call it that anymore, and you won't get the marks if you use those letters. So X and Y add up to 180. How do I know they add up to 180? We'll have a look at this X here. We've got at that X and Y on a straight line, so they add up to 180. And of course, by alternate angles, the other x uh, is the same. So the x and y I have highlighted add up to 180. And don't forget the basics, the one we've just talked about, angles on a line add up to 180. And also opposite angles are equal, and that's angles opposite each other on a crossing of two lines there. So those two are equal, and if we wanted to, these two would be equal as well. Okay, so those two basic rules. And then just angle chase. Don't worry too much about what you're trying to go for, just see what you can write down and eventually the answer will pop out. Right, let's do a couple of questions. Uh, one quite straightforward and one a bit harder. Here's the straightforward one. Find the size of the angles marked with letters. So we need to find A and we need to find B. And then the crucial bit, give a reason for each step in your working. Okay, so fairly clearly A is equal to 57 degrees, but it's the reason you'll really get the marks for, and in fact that is just one of the two basic things, opposite angles are equal. Okay, I'm just going to say opposite angles, that is enough, because of course I've shown I know they're equal by making them both 57. And then how do we find B? Well, uh, whichever way you want to do it, do you think of it as an F and then remember its corresponding angles, or do you just see that they correspond to each other. Okay, so they are equal because they're corresponding angles, so B is also equal to 57, and here is my reading, uh, my reason. Okay, corresponding angles are equal. And that is as simple as that. Right, question two is one of those ones where there's a bit of algebra to do, but actually it's not too hard. Okay, so what are we going to do? There are several ways of doing this question. Um, but first of all, we're going to say uh, this angle here, the 3x plus 40, is equal to this angle here. Okay, why? Because they are opposite angles. Okay, so I'm actually going to put that one on the diagram. And the examiner will look for things on the diagram. So I'm going to write 3x plus 40 in there. And I'm going to give a little reason up here. Okay, so I'm not wasting time uh, writing things out twice, but that, uh, that is an opposite angle to the other 3x plus 40. And now I can see that I've got a pair of co-interior angles, or as we used to call them, C angles. So this angle here and this angle here must add up to 180. So I'll write that down. So uh, 3x plus 40 plus 2x plus 10 equals 180. And again, the reason co-interior angles add up to 180. But actually, co-interior angles is fine, and I've shown they add up to 180 by putting the equals 180 on it. And that just gives me a little equation to solve. So let's lump everything together. Let's put the 3x and the 2x together. That gives me 5x. And then the 40 and the 10 give me 50, and 5x plus 50 is 180, 
and then we just solve that in the normal way. Subtract 50 from both sides, which gives me 5x equals 130, and divide both sides by 5 to give me x on the left is 130 over 5, which is 26 um, degrees, or 26. I don't really need the degrees because it's just a letter I'm trying to find. And how do I find y then? Well, actually, if you look at this, I can see that uh, y is y plus 2x plus 10 must equal 180, or I could say, actually, y and 3x plus 40 are alternate angles. Okay, so I'm going to write that one down. y is equal to 3x plus 40. Okay, I did say there was more than one way of doing this, but that's alternate angles. And so I can now just write down that y is equal to 3 times 26 plus 40, and 3 26s are 78, plus 40 is 118. And I have found x and y quite happily. So there we go. Remember your three rules to do with parallel lines, and don't forget the two rules, uh, the basic ones. And if you can't think what to do, just find any angles and you will get to the answer.